you know, first of all, I just want to say thank you so much for accepting my invitation to join today. And, um, you know, this is a little bit of a different call than the ones we normally do. And I appreciate you all taking the time today and also, you know, over the months and years that you've been involved in LCD um, and the model. So I really appreciate all of that. So first thing I want you all to know is that I am simplifying LCD groups offerings. Here's two of the biggest things that I've been hearing from you all over the last year. The first is, I didn't know what you all offered, okay? I've got the book, I've got the tools, but I didn't really know that there was anything else in my journey that I could use. And the second thing I've been hearing a lot of is, you know, I've been trying this out on my own and, and I feel good with that, but that's really where I need the support. I, I'm not sure I'm ready for the formal learning yet. I want sort of that support in the moment of apply. So here's what is going on in, in the coming months here. This is what you're going to see from this point forward. We've got three major things. One is going to be our LCD community of practice, which is going to be the bulk of this call. And that comes with the fundamentals of LCD certificate. The second is the LCD practicum, which many of you on this call have attended and I'm really grateful for. And even retroactively, I'll be giving you an applications of LCD certificate. And this is the one where we have two public sessions a year, and then we focus most the rest of the year on private sessions for intact teams, right? Because we're all about building momentum towards LCD models. So we try to get teams on the model as much as possible. And then the last piece, which we've just launched earlier this year in a really soft launch, is the certified LCD practitioner. And this is an ongoing credential. So you can get your initial certificates through the formal courses, but then the certified LCD practitioner really shows that you're committed to LCD model being a part of your work and that you are on top of it. You're practicing it on a year-to-year -year basis. And it's, it's a credential so people know that you're doing that. You're actively practicing LCD. So with this, this means I'm sunsetting our free monthly dialogue. That is changing. We're, we're sunsetting those, but it, it will be a part of the community of practice, as I'll share in a moment. And I'm evolving. We, ha we tried our intro to LCD course last year a couple of different ways. I found that I think what I really want is as opposed to being at a one and done event at a specific live time, I want it open and accessible to you guys 24 seven. And I'll talk a little bit about why when we talk about the COP. So I'm rolling the intro to LCD course into this community of practice. So let me talk a little bit more about the community of practice. So I really wanted to have one place where I can support application of LCD model and our community for everyone, for people who are brand new to LCD and also ongoing practitioners. But in a way that doesn't, um, you know, it's not like the one and done event where we're going to the lowest common denominator here. It's really meeting everyone's individual needs along the spectrum in an asynchronous 24 seven accessible way. And that's the part that I've heard is really key for everyone because LCD model isn't just something you learn and then put it away on a shelf. It's something you start trying to do, whether you read the book or you go to the class, it's something you try to do in your work ongoing. And so I need something that's 24 seven asynchronous to support you all. And that's what this community of practice is about. So there's three parts, the community of practice. The first is an advisory to help you all on your modern learning projects. And I'm gonna talk more about this in a minute. The second piece is a top professional community. And then the third piece is career building credentials. And that's that learning on the LCD model. So before I dive into those three parts, just in whole, if you're looking holistically, what's included in our community of practice, you're gonna have a 24 seven ask the expert forum. So we'll talk a little bit more about this, but as you're doing projects, Lisa and I will be answering your questions that come up in the moment of apply. 
a learning cluster library with 50 plus examples of learning clusters. So this is something that I, I've heard over and over again. I want to see an example of that. I want to see an example of that. So that's what that'll be. That's a part of the community of practice. Um, the LCD fundamentals course. So that's our old intro to LCD course, along with a fundamental certificate for completing that course. Our five tool walkthrough videos. So for those of you who've been to the practicum, I'm sure you remember the tool walkthrough videos, those short great walkthroughs that give you all of those nuances of applying the tools in the moment. So this is for people who need to refresh on the tools, um, but also for those who are learning for the first time. And then this is where we'll also have our regular practitioner community calls and an open forum for you all to share modern learning ideas. So that's what's included, but I want you to think about this as how you might use this community of practice on an everyday basis, on an every week basis. And the first big thing I want you to think about is this is an advisory service. So when you think about that 24 seven Ask the Expert forum, the learning cluster library that's easily searchable, and I'm gonna show this to you in a moment of how easy this is, those five tool walkthrough videos to help refresh and speak that same language between team members or even you know, some of your stakeholders or SMEs, you know, if they can watch a video in five minutes and pick up the language of LCD, you know, imagine what a benefit that could be to your conversations. If, hey, before we have this meeting, just take a look at this, you know, it'll bring us on the same page. So the first part of this community of practice is for me, I think it's the most important part. It's thinking of this community of practice, not so much as professional development, but as a part of your outsourcing budget, um, you know, it's a lot of work to create the consulting proposal and the project and then hire LCD group people to help you from a consulting standpoint. This fraction of a cost, ongoing support for every person, you know, whether it's you on a one person team or if you've got a larger team for every person working on a modern learning project, they have a place they can go to to get answers to questions that come up in the flow of working on modernizing a learning project. So the whole intention behind this is to give a high level of support in the moment of apply, something that if you're a one person team, wow, I've heard from you all over and over again, you've got a huge lift and you don't necessarily have anyone to lean on. This would be someone you can lean on. And it's not just anyone, by the way, it's, it's me and Lisa. Those are some pretty and I'm not going to do my own horn too, too much, but that's pretty freaking awesome people to be able to lean on on your projects and to get that kind of instant advice from on, hey, I'm stuck here. What do I do? And then if you're a, a larger team, having, again, that support from me and Lisa, but also being able to have, hey, you know, I forgot what this um, terminology was. And so, as opposed to having to lean on a team member to onboard another team member, just get it from the experts, you know, and, and not spend that time. So the first big part of this community of practice that I think is really the biggest thing is instant access to support in the moment of apply. You know, you get this community of practice tomorrow, you can start asking questions. In the next hour, you can start asking questions, right? So that's the first piece. The second piece is a top professional community. And, you know, there's 46 people on this call right now. That's a lot. And think about it. Each of you have been involved in LCD model in a, in a you know, pretty significant way. You've made a commitment to be a modern learning champion. And what I hear from you all on the dialogues is that this is really rare. It's really hard to find people who are truly interested in modernizing learning, who aren't just giving up at the first sign of traditional status quo butting in on a project. Um, you know, you, really the meeting and building of relationships through the modern dialogue between the core folks who continue to show up and it, it's been really deep. And so, um, this is where I really want to move our modern dialogue and elevate it to the next level with really modern learning practitioner community calls. And, you know, what I've heard in the past is, hey, the dialogue, it's, it's gotten me a job. It's gotten me a consulting engagement. It's gotten me friends, 
people I'd actually want to meet at a conference and see face to face because I know we're we're thinking about pushing the envelope. I want them to um, tell me what I'm missing, share alternative perspectives. So this is, um, you know, we'd have the regular calls, but then also an asynchronous forum, obviously, you know, so you can exchange modern learning ideas as well. And so our COP calls would replace our monthly dialogues, but I'm not going to completely eliminate the option for non-COP members to join. It's just going to be more like chapter calls where, you know, if they want to try out the COP and see if it's a fit for them, if this community is a fit for them, they can, you know, they can do that. So some of you who you might not be ready to join the COP, but you still want the calls, you'll still have an option to join. Um, and the call length is going to change. Uh, it's going to be an hour and a half, and there's going to be a half an hour that's going to be for COP members only to both network with each other and also get dedicated time with the speaker. Because a lot of you in past dialogue calls, you're asking brilliant questions to the, the dialogue speaker because you're actually there doing the modernizing work. And in the past, you're having to ask those questions while also there's people asking questions, well, what is the LCD model? And so I really want to create a dedicated space for practitioners to be um, elevating their expertise, the barriers you all are facing. Um, and even if you're very new to LCD, but you've joined the COP, you're quickly going to, again, because we've got the onboarding on the platform, you're quickly going to elevate your knowledge and start asking those questions that are just a little bit above and beyond people who may not have heard of the model at all. And that's what these COP calls are, are really going to be, is elevating from where we were with the dialogue. And so last part of our um, COP is career building credentials. And this is where, you know, really that fundamentals course, the fundamentals certificate, those tool walkthrough videos. A lot of times, um, you know, you might not feel like you necessarily need the practicum level of knowledge or not everyone on your team. If you have a team, not everyone needs that level of knowledge. Um, and what I've continued to hear from people is, hey, you know, I'm not necessarily a book reader or I've got the book, but I'm looking for the next level of learning on this, but I'm not ready to make the investment in the practicum. So a lot of times people will be in that category. And I think that's where this will be really helpful for folks. And then the second thing I hear a lot about is, okay, I sent a few people to the practicum, but now they're having to teach everyone who didn't go. So that way we can all be speaking the same language and sharing the same vision. And every time I hear that, I'll be honest with y'all, I keep thinking, okay, but your practicum attendees are not the experts. Like just because they went to the practicum, there's going to be things that they don't remember or they, um, you know, they can't answer every nuance. And so again, this is a great way to get everyone on the same vision, the same page, speaking the same language um, without, you know, to speak the same language, you don't necessarily need to go to the practicum. And at the same time, the practicum is still there for people who are really serious about modernizing learning, who really want the coaching and to walk away with a learning cluster at the end of that, you know, flagship course. So I'm not, you know, trying to say the COP is in any way replacing the practicum. They're definitely two separate things. And they're definitely both parts of an LCD learning journey. There might be a moment where, hey, I've been a part of the COP for a while, and now I'm ready to really take a work project and have you all coach me through this um, and get it to a really high quality learning cluster by the end. And that's when we, I'd say, hey, let's get you in the practicum. Let's do this right away. Or you might be new to the LCD model, but be someone who's got, you know, I want to make a big impact on my career quick. I want to make a big impact on my business quick. And I'll say, you know what? The practicum is going to get you there because in three weeks, you're going to get work done. You're going to get a cluster and you're going to get all these fundamentals. And the COP can support you after that as you continue to modernize. So it's kind of something for everyone in all of these different pieces. So if I'm summing it up, here's the COP in a nutshell. My goal with this is to help you all cut down your time to modernize learning projects. I've heard from all of you 
that you are taking on a ton of projects every year and you know sitting there constantly trying to think strategically about each of them on your own is a lot so this is a way for you to save time instantly as you work on modern learning initiatives and it's a time for it's a way for you to bring people along as they join the effort so we're reducing that effort and time and investment for onboarding those who are new to lcd and then of course the relationships so you know i think lcd model is a competency that you carry with you throughout your career. It's not something that, you know, what I've heard from people is it's not something like, um, you know, a, a class you went to and then you forget about it a couple months later. Every single person who's been to a practicum tells me that they're working on implementing this on the day, on the day to day. And so it's a competency and it's a strategy for those of you who are in leadership positions or looking to become leaders, it's one that transforms organizations. So building the relationships with each other, huge in that piece. And I've, I've just witnessed that so many times. And I really want the COP to help all of you with that. So I really think of the COP as a really essential possibility to help you all get your work done, um, you know, month, uh, month to month in addition to the professional development piece of it. So that being said, are you guys ready to see the COP? Anyone excited to see what this looks like? Let's, let's take a look. So um, for those of you who are familiar, if you've gone to the practicum or you've gone to the intro course, you'll be familiar with Circle. Um, this is our asynchronous platform we've used for a long time now because it was originally built for community um, founders. So this is not an LMS, although actually they've recently just introduced an LMS component to this, but um, it was originally built with social learning in mind, which is what I love. So this is going to look, you know, blank right now because I'm looking for, you know, founding members of our COP, but You've got an Ask the Experts forum. This is where Lisa and I would be answering your questions. You have an open discussion where you'd be able to post your modern learning ideas. You've got the Learning Cluster Library. And this is where um, you'll see that there's examples upon examples of um, clusters and it's all easily searchable. So for example, if I type in onboarding, Onboarding in the technology sector, onboarding in nonprofit, onboarding in higher education, onboarding in healthcare, onboarding in construction, right? We've got all these examples of onboarding um, learning clusters that can inspire you and that you can use to help benchmark what you're doing. So I'm not necessarily, you know, promoting you to copy and paste these clusters. And again, if you know about, you all know about the LCD model, you know, I'm not about, you don't want to copy and paste things to your organization. But it does help to see an example of where someone has done this. And by the way, these are all built based on um, the new tools. So when you open these up, you'll see the on-the-job change objective. You'll see the learner personas. You'll see the learning cluster map. And then you'll see an LCD metrics plan. So for those of you who've been you know, really trying to break through on track transformation, um, you know, you'll see examples of what that might look like. And some of you might, um, you know, recognize some of these examples from the practicum course. So in the learning cluster library, that's a big part of this. And we're continuing to build it out. That's going to be an evergreen um, part of the community of practice. We're going to keep on adding examples, obviously, as they're, they're generated. And you'll be able to submit examples as well. Um, the LCD fundamentals course. So as you all know, whenever I design courses, the social aspect, even if it's asynchronous, isn't lost. And in this fundamentals course, you get an overview of what's modern learning, the model itself, and then you get to apply it to a case study um, and actually practice in order to learn the model. And you do that, you know, at, folks will be putting in comments in here of their work. So you'll be able to see what other um, participants are doing as well and how they're learning about learning um, the LCD model. And you'll be able to learn from their learning. And 
once you're complete with that, you get your fundamental certificate. Um, we've got our walkthrough videos here, and I'm probably also going to post the tools just so I know a lot of you, maybe they get lost on your computer or your email, um, but that will be in here as well. And then the community call recording library. So this is where all of our past modern learning dialogue recordings are housed, but also um, in the future, the COP call recordings, they'll all be here as well. And then we've got COP calls, which this will be our first call is going to be featuring Kristen Schmidt from ITC Transco, who went to the practicum and is now the interim DEI lead. And she's going to be talking on April 20th about how the model works for complex multi-stage initiatives, which we all know DEI is, and how she's been integrating LCD with the DEI framework she's using, as well as the change management framework, change management ideas she has going on and then how tracking transformation is working for these intangible complex skills. So you can, I think you can even see in this, like it's, it's a lot easier on an LCD COP call to you know, seriously focus in on modernizing learning initiatives with our speakers. And that's what I'm really hoping to do and, and elevate. So that all being said, um, I'm looking for founding members. So that's the, the main um, the main thing. My main hope is that you all see the value of this community of practice. Um, this is our pre-launch. So that's why this was an invite only call. Not everyone, uh, I'm not really releasing this to everyone until March 14th on our you know, general mailing list. Um, and this is our exclusive. You know, to me, founding members, you are all folks who've informed my vision. For LCD group, you provided incredibly valuable feedback through your experiences. And I'm going to continue to appreciate your thoughts. You know, today we're about to continue with our activity and also ongoing. Um, so normally our membership is going to be $9.97 a year for one seat. Um, but for you all, if you know, got a promo code and all the all the details there, but it'll be 50% off for your membership for this year. Um, and the the it's not really a catch but the there is a timeline with this so i'm going to launch this fully to everyone on march 14th you have until march 10th to use this promo code and get the 50 percent off um, and after that point it'll be regular pricing for everyone so i'm really hoping that you join me on this journey and i'm hoping that you're one of our founding members and i can you know start really supporting you all in that moment of apply um, and, you know, do it in a very flow of work way and, you know, really help change on the job behavior. I want you all modernizing learning projects, right? That's the, the big thing here. So um, before I go back to our activity, I just wanted to pause and get your reactions to the community of practice and answer any questions you might have. Um, so let me just stop sharing for a moment. What do you guys think? Um, I think that I think this is great because I'm kind of one of those as you know Crystal who's not ready to jump into the practicum but I'd like to learn more and clearly you guys are taking your time you and Lisa are taking your time I I know that I should be I know that I should be contributing something you know in, in uh, as a as as far as money goes right so I really like this I think this is um I think this is really exciting for for somebody like me in the position that I'm in, where I'm really trying to grab grab onto it and figure out what to do with how to work it at my at my job. That's great to hear. I'm I'm glad. I've like definitely put a lot of thought into this and listening to you all uh, on what your feedback has been to date and how can I just help with that. Um, any other questions or or thoughts? How do we sign up? Okay, great. Um, that's always a good question. I love that. Um, um, it's on, I'll just type it in real quick, learningclusterdesign.com slash lcdcop. Uh, but yeah, I would just love 
for all of you. <laughs> you know, it's just, I really appreciate you all considering this. I have a quick question. So um, if we join as a founder, is there um, like an expectation of a minimum amount of participation that you would expect from us per month or, you know, time-wise? Uh, you know, I would take whatever I can get from you amazingly <laughs> busy people. Um, I know I have one question in mind for everyone. I haven't really fixed the frequency of the LCD COP calls. And so I know that's one that I'm gonna be asking for feedback from founding members on. I think that's a, that's a really great question. And then beyond that, um, man, I just, it, I think I will be actively reaching out to making, making sure that I'm doing what I can to support your use of the community of practice. Um, memberships are only useful if you use it. And so if there's barriers to using it, I'm gonna be, you know, if I see you not logging in for like the whole year, for example, you'll probably be getting an email from me. Hey, what can I do? What's missing here? Is something too hard? Is something, are you just not working on modernizing learning projects? And in that case, can I have your boss's phone number so I can convince them to let you modernize learning? You know, I'm, I'll just be here to be your champion and, and hope that you engage with the platform. Um, yeah, that will be my, my goal. And then Josh, really great question. Do I have a thought for company team memberships? I do. Um, for It's really going to be on a case-by-case -case basis, and it, it's really going to be for larger teams because, to be honest, um, you know, $500 a year or per person or $1,000 a year per person to have this kind of um, consulting type of support is not very much. And so unless, you know, you've got like a pretty sizable team, um, I would consider like a 10 to 20% discount on that. But um, that's, that's what I've thought of, you know, at this point. So if you, you know, I, if you're interested in it from a team perspective, even though I've made that statement, do not hesitate to reach out and, you know, we can always talk and, and see what, what your thought is on it, on it, what you would hope for. Yeah, I was wondering uh, on that is, you know, uh, as we work through the tools and um, can we and we seek your advice or leases or even some from the community, is there a place where we can upload that and, and kind of have a shared space to look at it together? Uh, I don't, I'm not familiar with Circle uh, yet, um, but I just was curious if that's part of what we would have for collaboration. If, otherwise, we just have to do emails, I guess. Yeah, Frank, that's a wonderful question. And I love Circle for this reason. You can, and I love that you're asking this because what a great use of the Ask the Expert. Upload your, you can upload your tool to a post and we can even, you know, then get back to you um, again for, and I know you're going to the practicum, so you'll see this, you know, we can then upload our feedback and, you know, it's great because then the whole community can learn from your usage of a tool and they can see how we, you know, coached or, or whatnot with that as well. So, and it's private. Yeah, you could so crowd. Your work, oh, okay. Your work isn't out there on the internet. It's in sure. Circle, which is a very private, you know, login only secure file space. Yeah, and that's important uh, with all the, you know, corporate security we have and everything that, you know, it's hard to, you know, I can't go to Google Drive or things like that, you know, so, you know, having that ability is good. And then, to be able to crowdsource the experts and people in the community for ideas or if I'm stuck on something, yeah. But y'all, this is really great. This is, um, I really just, I can feel the support from you all and I really appreciate that. Again, just being folks who've really wanted to take LCD to the next level in your work. So, you know, this was it. This is the main thing I wanted to share with you all today, and I hope you all, you know, consider this. And again, if you have any questions after this call, to just feel free to email me. Um, and you have until March 10th to take advantage of the 50% off per year. So that's next Friday. So if you're like me and you're not on top of the calendar, that's next Friday. Um, and then after that, I'll be launching it with the full mailing list, the full LinkedIn followership, all of that. And we'll be switching to our regular membership pricing. Um, and I mentioned we're going to be doing our first LCD COP call. Um, <coughs> that is located on the website as well. So if you go to learningclusterdesign.com, 
you'll see there's a link for on the main menu for LTD COP calls. So if you opt not to join the COP, but you still want to join the next call, you'll see a place for you to register and sign up right there. Um, and then other than that, please join. I would love to see you on the platform. Um, and if you've been sitting on the fence with LCDs, I hope you join. This will be a really great way for you to to get started without it being overwhelming and then to just start trying it out and having that support there for you. I hope to see as many of you in there as possible so that way we can keep on building the relationships, building the momentum towards applying this around the globe, really. And I, I didn't ask that question, where are you all from? But I I know, I, I see you all from all your different places and you know, there's a lot of really great modernizing work going on. And if we can keep on being together with it, being collective, especially as we think about tracking the success of our work, right? And seeing how that's playing out. We can use examples from how it's going in another company to share like, this is why we should be doing this. So those are the kinds of conversations I hope to see in this community of practice. And I hope to see you all, all in it. So thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs>